Hi everyone, just wanted to go through a um, super quick heatsink mod I did for uh, an M2 SSD. Um, I have seen a whole bunch on the internet before, um, varying from massively huge cards with uh, multiple M2 SSDs all the way down to uh, fairly ghetto ones. Um, my aim with this build was to be as cheap as possible while still using parts that are readily available, you know, not using heat sinks you might have clawed off old machines or anything like that, um, so that anyone can potentially do it without uh, too much hassle. Um, so these are the parts that I purchased. I bought them all off eBay. They probably had for, you know, a couple of dollars, maybe, you know, 50, 60 cents, a dollar, depending on the part. So I got a heat sink like this. It's just very basic aluminium heatsink. It just happens to be almost exactly the same width as the M2 SSDs. Um, so you really just need to cut it to length, uh, which is pretty much easily done on anything from an angle grinder, hacksaw, a Dremel, uh, though Dremels would take quite a while to go through something even as small as this because they're not super powerful. Um, the next part was something to attach it to the SSD. Now I have seen a bunch of SSDs that are attached with like little metal clips um, they go underneath them and then some of them they can't really fit if there's the chips underneath um, and also they're very uh, specific to the heatsink that you're using um, so that's not really an option so this is what I found um, they are some wristwatch like strap holders um, all they are is just a loop of silicon rubber uh, that just happens to be again about the width of the M2 SSD and once you take the heatsink into account you can see the heatsink can just fit in there um, so once you put the M2 SSD it does actually hold it with a bit of uh, clamping force and then of course the final part which you don't have to use what I'm going to show you now you can just use normal thermal paste but I got some silicon um, thermal pads. Now the reason I used this over um, thermal paste was it's much easier to clean up. You can just pull these off, no mess, no hassle really. Um, you know if you want to warranty the drive or anything like that, the manufacturer could never tell that you, you had this on the drive. Uh, it probably wouldn't work as well. I mean if you really want the best thermal performance, get a good um, thermal paste, you know, like Arctic Silver or um, one of those uh, Thermal Grizzly ones, probably not the uh, liquid metal because this is an aluminium heatsink, uh, but something along those lines. Um, I got two thicknesses, uh, one is uh, I think it's 0.5 millimeter and the other is one millimeter. The reason for that, and I'll show you this later, is the um, the chips on my SSD, the Samsung Evo 960, the controller chip is actually slightly shorter than the memory, um, so you do actually need to account for that um, height variance, otherwise the heatsink's going to be at like, a, at like an angle, uh, which is probably not the best. Um, so all you really need to do is chop off a couple pieces of that, cut this down to size, uh, and slap it all on. Okay, so now we've got it uh, cut to size, slightly smoothed off there, nothing major. And we have our little SSD over here, and as you can see, it sort of fits right over there with enough space on both ends. We've got our two little, little rings. 
Yeah. All we need is, as you can see, um, hopefully you can see, the thickness. It's thicker on this end than on this end here, and hence the thin pad versus the the thicker one mil stuff. So fingers crossed that all works. Good. Nice little sandwich. You can see the thicker side and the thinner side. And all we've got to do is slip these over. They are pretty tight. So it should give a bit of clamping pressure. And there you go. Time to stick it in the machine and uh, see how much of a difference it makes.